Hey guys, it's Ian K for Peep This Out, back again with another one for you. This time returning to BK to take a look at a pretty significant upgrade to one of the most iconic burgers ever. Now I think it's safe to say that most of the fast food chains never really mess with their iconic flagship burgers only because they've been around for so many years and people are very familiar with the taste. So I get that you wouldn't want to mess with a good thing, especially when people are familiar with it and it's been around for so many years. Once in a while though, you do get some curveballs thrown your way. I mean, McDonald's did recently upgrade their quote unquote Big Mac to Grand Mac status and that was actually pretty cool. And now we've got a little bit of a makeover coming our way in the form of what I'm calling the new Whopper from BK because for the first time ever the Whopper is getting two major changes to its recipe that have never been done before. So let's see what those two new changes are before we take a bite to see exactly how the flavor is going to be on it guys. But like always we got to get right up on it first for that closer look. Let's peep this out. It's an upgrade for an icon as the classic Whopper gets two big changes to its overall recipe for the first time ever. And the thing with this is you probably wouldn't even know about it unless you took a bite. So let's pop the top and see what we've got going. All the goodies underneath the seated bun from the Whopper are gonna be the same, but let's start from the very bottom and work our way backwards here because the real star of the show is gonna be what's peeking out right there. So now that we got it flipped over, let's take a look at the star of the show, guys. The meat patty itself. And if you take a closer look at it here, you're gonna notice it is no longer perfectly round. It's a little bit more of a home style patty so it may closely resemble a backyard barbecue type of burger but it is definitely no longer round for sure and aside from that it's actually seasoned for the first time with salt and pepper something Burger King has never done so the iconic taste for the Whopper that you've all known for so many years is going to be upgraded slightly in the flavor department I'm thinking aside from the patty itself looking maybe just a little bit thicker but I think it's pretty much just the quarter pound patty still maybe just a little bit more but overall it is the appearance of it for sure that is different aside from that salt and pepper seasoning underneath the meat patty it's gonna be business as usual, guys. So for my case here, no mayo, no tomato, but plenty of the pickles, onions, lettuce. You've got ketchup on there as well. But the meat patty itself, a little bit more home style, like I said, is the main thing. It's the first time they've tried something like this in addition to the salt and pepper seasoning. So not too bad. So there you go. The appearance is subtle, but it's all in the flavor, guys. It's the upgraded Whopper here at BK. Let's peep out this flavor. Yep, the change to the look of the beef patty is subtle, but it's definitely no longer that perfectly round meat patty that we already know. So it's all gonna come down to the flavor. So here we go with it. It's the new Whopper here at BK. Hmm. Hmm. Well, first off, I'm instantly getting all the familiar flavors that I know from BK's Whopper already here, but there's something else going on. Hang on a second. I want to say it's got just a little bit more seasoning to it there. It does have a little bit more of a pop to it, but it's still the classic Whopper. But like the appearance of the patty, it's subtle, but just enough to be a little different. Now, from what I'm told, they're not going to be advertising this too much in terms of what the changes to the Whopper are at the moment here. So I think subtlety is going to be the word of the day, guys, because it really is pretty much the same Whopper with just a little bit extra in the flavor department. And again, you don't want to mess with the classic, and that's what the Whopper is. But what you're getting here is a pretty flavorful burger that you already know from BK with just a little bit extra in the flavor department for the meat. So it's not too bad. Now, if you like the Whopper, and obviously a lot of people do, I think you know what to expect from this one, guys. It's very similar to what you already know with maybe a little extra salt and pepper on the beef pack itself and the slight appearance change is decent but it's still a whopper through and through and that's not necessarily a bad thing because the idea is to improve upon a classic so if you make a slight adjustment to the overall recipe I'm all for it as long as the taste is primarily the same and the preparation is a little bit different because of the way the patty is but that's just my two cents what do you guys personally think drop those comments down below let me know if you're gonna be having the whopper anytime soon because this change is slowly trickling out right now and they're not gonna be advertising this one here so let me know what you think because personally for me with a name like whopper I would have loved to have seen just a super thick patty to really do that whopper name justice but as it is is, it's still a very very large burger and still pretty tasty so let me know what you think down below I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this one and as for the overall score on this new Whopper from BK it's gonna finish out with a solid 8 out of 10 it's still a significant upgrade because BK has never messed with the seasoning in the beef patty itself let alone the shape of it so it's definitely a first for them in that category but it's still a Whopper through and through and like I said that is not a bad thing and those are my thoughts on this one as we close out another episode of peep this out guys and like I always say new content can be found on my channel every single week so while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon in the meantime stay frosty and real quick let me send a special shout out and thank you over to bob and his amazing crew at my local bk here in pasadena california on fair oaks avenue bob thanks so much for the heads up on this one as well as the first look to see exactly how this was i appreciate the opportunity and the amazing customer service as always all right guys that's it for now i'll talk to you soon